guys, it's AK Real Meals. And while I usually try to stay out of politics, <laughs> who am I kidding? This is my jam. And this episode totally feeds off of John Oliver's recent episode, Make Donald Trump Again campaign. And if you're wondering why I'm pronouncing his name, like what should have been the name of the heavy breathing guy on Hey Arnold, that John Oliver episode and join the Make Donald Trump Again campaign. Now, on account of that episode, I decided to make an AK Real Meals episode to show how much I support the Make Donald Trump Again campaign. So for that reason, today's meal is called Trumpy Sticky Fingers for a couple reasons. The first being that Donald Trump is so utterly and hilariously vexed that almost everyone is saying that he has short fingers. He said I had small hands. They're not small, are they? And ever since, the editor Graydon Carter says he receives envelopes from Trump, always with a photo on which he circled his hand to highlight the length of his fingers. To the point where he had made a sexual joke on national television. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee. For future president? The second being that he's a lying thief. I'd like to take some money out of her fat ass pockets. Hence sticky fingers. See what I did there? Now let's get something straight here. Have I lied to billions of people? Perhaps if I had a larger Twitter following, I may. But would I run for president? Probably not. And if anyone does show this clip when I run for president, I'll lie about it. It appears to be the new trend. I never heard, I never heard that one before. For these drumpy chicken fingers, we'll need chicken, whole wheat flour, three eggs, breadcrumbs, sugar, Frank's hot sauce, and a can of corn. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chicken out and we're gonna cut each piece so that they're real short and drumpy. The drumpier the better. It's a nice thick drumpy piece. Then we're gonna add half a cup of whole wheat flour to a large Tupperware bowl. And we're using whole wheat because you always want so bad for it to come out so delicious, but it always kind of falls short, like short fingers or lying or making somebody else pay for your ridiculous demands. Okay, then we're just gonna dump the chicken right into the whole wheat flour because we're all created equal here. And we're gonna cap it and coat it. Then we're gonna put our eggs into a bowl. Then we're gonna dilute these eggs with some water to make it seem like there's more than there actually is. Give that all a little stir. Now we're just gonna add some breadcrumbs to another large Tupperware. And we're gonna take a nice drumpy piece of chicken, dip it in the diluted egg mixture, and then coat it with breadcrumbs and put it on a baking sheet. And we're just gonna do that with all of our drumpy chicken fingers. Now we're gonna spray these nubby chicken fingers front and back with cooking spray and pop them in our preheated 425 degree oven for about 15 or 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna add about a cup of brown sugar and about a quarter of a cup of Frank's Red Hot and some water to a pot. Now I'm gonna put this over high heat and bring it to a boil. And then remove it from the heat to thicken while my chicken finishes baking in the oven. Once my drum feed chicken is out of the oven, I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes and toss it in our fully cooled and thickened sticky sauce. And then remove the coated pieces onto a paper towel. And that, my fellow Americans, is how you make drumpy sticky fingers. Serve it with a side of corn, a vegetable that claims to be healthy but really has zero nutritional value. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like, follow, comment, sue me, and stay tuned for more. Sticky and aggressive, but mildly entertaining. Mm. I've always had people say, Donald, you have the most beautiful hands.